Could you talk a little bit about the concepts of prana, tejas, and ojas? Yes, um, they relate this, uh, the idea of ojas, tejas, and prana relates both to Ayurveda and yoga. In um, Ayurveda, this we can say the purified aspect of kapha would be ojas. Yeah, a high purified aspect of uh, pitta can be considered tejas. And the very high, subtle, purified aspect of vata will be, can be uh, called prana. Yeah? So as we work through um, our life, through the process of Ayurveda and Yoga, we come to understand these um, uh, Vata Pitta Kapha at a very high, uh, very high level. And at this level, the um, impurities, the faults of Vata Pitta and Kapha doesn't come up because they're now operating on a higher level, on a yogic level. A yeah, level where uh, it is not, Vata Pitta Kapha is not now used to transform just bodily functions and to bring about health, but actually to bring about change in consciousness. So it's a very amazing, beautiful link. <laughs>